Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing our Transvaal run, aka the gold and discrimination are the only things that matter run. Nothing else is real, it's only all gold. Look at our national revenue. Now look at me, now no, look at our national revenue. Don't you wish your national revenue looked like all minting? Because you can if you play Transvaal. Alright, so... What we got going on is we are banning slavery, and in the interim, I thought I would just point out a couple things we noticed uh, that we were taking a look at is uh, if we take a look at the SOL of laborers versus slaves who replace laborers uh, in Freestat, look at that, 8 versus 16, more than double. And keeping in mind that SOL is a pretty big driver of, you know, our migration attraction, we're getting... 50% modifier, uh, another 50% modifier for plus 100%. So however much we increase SOL by standard of living, we are going to get double that in terms of migration attraction, which is going to help us to bring more people here to the great nation of gold. And so that's thing one. Also, we are colonizing really slow, and I noticed this. It says our incorporated pop-up here is 2.6 million, but I think that that tooltip is just lying because we have 900,000 uh, here, an additional 700, a little bit less, or 800,000, 7, 800,000, right, for around 1.6 million. This is our actual incorporated pop. This tooltip is lying. I believe what it's doing is it's including this uh, country, which is not yet uh, fully incorporated, or the state, which has another 15 months, uh, which is relevant because because when we look at the tooltips for ba -ba -bum, for this stuff and looking at how much our colonial growth is generated, it says we're generating it based off 1.65 million, aka Transvaal and Freestadt, and not including this. And so I just thought that that'd be interesting to point out. It does seem to that this tooltip does not correctly reflect stuff that's actually fully incorporated, but in fact includes places you're trying to incorporate. When we finish incorporating this, our colony growth speed should pick up quite a bit. And so, you know, uh, we're going for these iron mines right now because we're trying to actually make use of our second company. But once we get these iron mines, I think we go pretty heavy into the government administrations, look to incorporate a whole bunch of other places, mainly for the, uh, you know, the colonization speed, because our colonization speed is doo-doo. It's not very good. Uh, we aren't going to cut off Great Britain like this. We can maybe do some trade moves, uh, you know, look to cut them off by trading uh, and this type of thing but um, things are not looking too good on that front. This episode, we are very, very likely to reduce the uh, the autonomy on Persia. And then also, you know, there we have some key texts coming on up. Um, we are going to be getting Dynamite and Steam Donkey probably this episode. Uh, we are just doing it in such a way that uh, we don't have to pay the malice uh, for uh, the thing. And then we will also probably go for Vulcanization this episode. If we can find any places that have rubber. I'm trying to think if we have any places with rubber. But these, all these combined, is going to make for a really strong pop-off. Where we are going to kind of switch to being a little more tool-oriented in Transvaal and Freestadt. But it's basically just going to be tools, gold, and ore. Uh, we might even skip on the steel quite a bit here. Because the tooling PM is just, uh, you know, obscene uh, on machine stool, uh, steel tools. It's just hyper, hyper efficient. And we're encouraging the resource industries here. So these are going to be a lot more efficient. And the reason we're encouraging them is, of course, uh, to make more use out of the gold. We will probably keep encouraged resource industries for the extra uh, mine throughput for quite some time. I never realized this tooltip was so simple. No human being may be owned by another, which is going to be super nice for turmoil and SOL, uh, you know, on our fronts. We are also, you know, making pretty short work of Persia here, uh, but we, uh, this should go down pretty, pretty quick, I think. Well, I guess we still discriminate, so, you know, apartheid is a thing, so... That is going to be one negative aspect of what's going on. But now we can think about what we had planned on doing is going into Parliamentary Republic, uh, which will make a lot of people happy. And then once we hit Parliamentary Republic, then we can... I mean, we kind of like our ruler right now, and we kind of like having all this authority, but once we go Parliamentary Republic, then we can increase the taxes, and with the increased taxes, what we can do is we can actually start paying for a lot more construction, um, because now we're, we're kind of reaching a point where it's not only minting, I mean, it's mostly minting, it's still mostly minting, maybe we're supposed to wait here. Uh, that's kind of rough. I mean, we could go for elected bureaucrats. Maybe that's the move and just kind of uh, have this be a little bit of a push. Elected bureaucrats will be a little bit better overall. So let's go elected bureaucrats first. Um, push down the road the idea of reducing our authority because then we're going to have to get rid of some of these. Um, and instead, uh, you know, well, we'll do that for now. We're, we're still fairly legitimate. So we'll do this for now. 
Okay, now we're starting to make a lot of money. If we take a look, still like 53k from minting, but now we have like 20k from other sources. Part of this is war reps coming from Persia. Uh, we also notably did take Kerman because we wanted to incorporate it. It does take 20 years. This is going to be a nice place to build in. And also we can maybe get some migration attraction going once, of course, uh, we get the turmoil down. And also, you know, our police will apply to this turmoil. And so I think that uh, it was worth the little bit of extra infamy we generated. Also, I think we're going to hit zero infamy probably um, and maybe you have to do some inefficiencies type stuff and so us taking this I think is going to be good and also it has natural harbors and so this is going to be one of the better places that we you know uh, build in for building up navy and also building up uh, warships and uh, you know just regular ships this is going to be one of the better provinces and so I thought that we could make a good use of it but we are adding construction uh, to the queue and I think we're going to add a little bit more as well uh, we're building it up here and we are going to have a nice kind of uh, turn because we we're building up the iron mines here uh, for the purposes of getting the company going. And so the this combined with actually adding a lot of construction sectors, these are going to be very profitable. Now the problem is, is we don't really have the labor to run all this stuff. Uh, and so we have to hope that the migration attraction continues to pull people pretty, pretty significantly. Um, you know, there's going to be... There's going to be loud cars outside. Uh, but uh, we are also going to start uh, building up here a little bit. So we're going to add a couple construction sectors here. The reason being is this is incorporated. So they have access to our institutions, which include education and this type of stuff. There's also a level one, um, uh, uh, what is it, uh, university. So despite the fact that there being a lot of discrimination here, uh, this place is incorporated. They have our institutions. Now we should actually be colonizing at a decent clip. Um, and the tooltip remains the same up here, so it does seem to be a, a little bit of a thing. Um, uh, but we will be able to build up here a little bit better and hopefully get the navy going on in this place. So we'll also add coal mines in the queue. We'll put them on auto expand. We'll put the wood on auto expand here as well. This is really good for de-peasanting. There's a lot of peasants. And so um, we should be able to slowly come on up here. And then also, when we can get some migration and attraction coming here, uh, this would also be good because it's going to increase our incorporated pops, which is going to increase, you know, our colonization speed we'll also save load i think uh regarding the colonization speed uh because i'm not sure if it updated um and this is often something that happens is the colonization speed doesn't update and this represents 40 percent of our colonization speed so we'll save load as well all right so we get rights of assembly and now we are floating negative 100 authorities so we're going to start getting rid of some of these edicts starting with promote social mobility we're going to bop that one um we decided to go for rights of assembly also because uh we had an election and we now have a super righteous government uh even if we increase taxes which uh, again doesn't really yield us too much money so it just kind of feels bad uh to be honest although it is targeting the upper strata we're continuing to add more construction too but um we decided that rights of assembly into guaranteed libs would be a little bit better um and so we are doing that we are continuing to add construction we're going to add t another two in uh this state here however it's pronounced um do still have kind of the turmoil thing uh kind of trying to kick this down it's surprising that we have so much turmoil but it's really the result of discrimination which is just very painful we don't have turmoil here because i believe this place revved not too long ago um but it is coming up quite nicely uh from all of the uh like auto queue kind of building here we are trying to make sure that we have some amount of railway uh room because the auto queue will not build for example here if it doesn't have the infrastructure available and so what we're going to do is we're we're actually going to put a railway at the front of the queue here that way the auto queue can continue to build where we really really want it to build which is in these two states primarily um, these places are going to be much more profitable although we do have to uh, keep in mind or keep an eye on the fact that uh, they don't have labor so we are just trying to siphon off the labor we're trying to hoover it up and uh, once we have available employment like plus 10 then we really don't aren't going to want uh, you know extra uh, any sort of extra buildings more than the mo uh, the original ones. So this is kind of why we're starting to push here a little bit more. Um, we're also... We already have logging in the queue. Why don't we kick one to the front behind this railway? So we'll get a logging. Uh, we'll build another construction sector and then try and get the logging out because this will depeasant the pops the best, uh, better than anything else. And then um, so will the fisheries. We'll put it on auto expand. So we'll look to get this place up as well because we have access to 200,000 peasants here. So we are actually going to move around our edicts. We are going to pick up uh, the edict for promote social mobility here in Freestadt, and we're going to move it on over to uh, Lurug... Oh, 
uh, Lorenco Marquez. I don't know how to pronounce this place. Uh, but the reason we're moving it over is because, man, oh man, do we need the qualifications here. And it is just a huge struggle. It's also going to give education access, which will, you know, increase literacy, which will help out. Uh, but we can't even get our university employed, you know, to give the full qualifications. And so uh, we have been stuck on just a single boat this entire game, uh, which has really inhibited our ability to expand. However, we realized that we could expand through Persia now that they've been subjugated. So we've subjugated Afghanistan. We subjugated Macron. We just annexed... Uh, I forget which the name of the country that was here, but this way we get an ingress where we can now go into Sindh and the Sikh Empire. We're not strong enough to fight the Sikh Empire, but we could if we wanted to. Uh, and so this is going giving us, uh, you know, very useful places to go after uh, with regards to kind of our infamy. And so we have this nice little base of power that just stretches, you know, uh, in a fairly contiguous way. We hope that the UK loses this fight, but they probably won't um, because we are getting pushed out, uh, you know, on the colonization front. We are having a hard time, uh, you know, keeping up speed because uh, we have very little uh, growth speed. And it would help if we didn't have so many colonies, but we do want to be able to trade these later, uh, maybe for some states. And so, uh, because the AI really overvalues completing states, I think having a bunch of different ones can be good, but... And I also don't think we're cutting the UK off at this point. Um, it seems like that'd be very unlikely. And also, ooh, we overdid this a little bit. So we're gonna switch back to... Oh, we're not gonna switch back to Dynamite. We're gonna switch to Rotary Valve Engine. And once this finishes natural spreading, chem bleaching, then we will just need to do one week tick on uh you know steam donkey because it's already over 2.5k we're gonna waste 700 here and then we will only need to get 400 more on dynamite and so this is going to be really good for us um because we are coming up on this pretty soon here it's just uh we need to well you know what we could just say we don't even care about natural spreading this we just care about being a little bit efficient but why don't we do this make it only five to eight months and then steam donkey steam donkey will finish instantly in the first week and then we will follow up and get a very very quick one here um i think i like this getting the, we've already researched so much you know just like prolonging it uh just to be a slightly more i mean we're gonna go for rotary valve, but we're not gonna go for rotary valve next. And so, uh, after these two techs. And so, because that's the case, I think we're going rubber mastication and vulcanization after these. And so, uh, because this is the case, I think that, you know, finishing up chem bleaching, once we finish that, that will reduce the cost of this from 15.6k to 12.5k, and this from 15.6 to 12.5k, so we'll finish Steam Donkey Dynamite, be good to go. So we just finished Chemical Bleaching, uh, and now you can see, minus 56 days on Steam Donkey, so Steam Donkey is going to instantly finish, and then we only have four weeks until Dynamite finishes, which is going to be spectacular for us, and also Steam Donkey is going to be so, so good, because we get to do some of this. We get to come in, all these places that have mines, we get to do this and this is going to free up a ton of labor to be working in other places so you see here not fully employed now it's fully employed basically and so uh, in all these places we're going to be turning on this which is going to give us access to a lot more labor uh, than we had previously probably could kick in the rail transport too yeah, let's go, baby. And so this is going to be a big come up. And then following on the back of this come up is, of course, dynamite, which is going to be very good. It's also going to help us discover the remaining gold that we have yet undiscovered here. And also, it's going to help us discover rubber. And the next thing we're into is the rubber plus vulcanization. And so we will make a little bit of a pivot towards tools. And so this is going to be pretty good. We are having a little bit of trouble. We are having a little bit of trouble pushing this uh, because... Our places can't recruit up fast enough, and uh, we have some problems. But I think we can pretty soundly solve this just by landing them, uh, you know. But we actually could not push this uh, because this guy, uh, <laughs> unable to recruit up, <laughs> we got like 44 and 95, all this types of stuff. Uh, and so hopefully we can get in through landing. Otherwise, we're going to have to make some moves, some weird moves. But we're probably going to need to, A, we complete philosophy department 2, uh, we get some throughput, uh, and then, yeah... Um, was that just because this place couldn't employ up fully? That might have been a little bit of a leak in the game. Yeah, I think that's because this place couldn't employ up. It just hit 90%, which is, I think, what it needs to be. Please get in on the landing. Please just get in for free. Freezies, good dealsies. Do we get in? Oh, we don't get in for free. If only we could have more than one boat, we could land with more than one guy. I was unaware of this, but apparently, uh... 
you can get the opium ban on Heavenly Kingdom after having done it on Shing or something to this effect. And so the UK is going to be going after them. Unfortunately, we don't have an interest in the region, so we can't make good use of that. But I did not realize you could you could <laughs> respond to the opium ban twice. We really hope that Heavenly Kingdom, uh, you know, schisms and breaks into a million pieces. But I don't think that's likely to happen because I don't think they're scripted to break up in the same way Shing is. Um, it would be much easier for us to gain pops later on in the game if we could, you know, uh, get some Chinese provinces. But a big part of why we're heading on over here is because this place has 14 million pops. And so if we go multiculturalism, we can go into Punjab and we can generate a lot of labor by, uh, you know, kind of doing that. Also, just a uh, quick reminder, uh, free stat is, uh, you know, the auto queue is pretty aggressive about putting the gold in as long as we, this place is fully employed and has qualifications and all that stuff. So we are just getting to pop off here. And uh, this is going to, you know, generate more minting. So we take a look. 23k minting when we put it on this 27k minting so that's just like 4k of free income that we're getting baby and then we're gonna also you know be turning on all of this stuff as well all right the wide colonization has paid off now here uh because we can trade uh transvali south cameroon which is that which is basically worthless to us um other than we could incorporate it and take provinces off them easier or something like this we can trade this for rift valley which will cut the uk off from colonizing either north or also getting troops in the south, although they have access through us, I believe, as the Customs Union member. But this is a pretty big deal. This is going to be nice for us, and it will secure for us at least this northern portion. Look at that. So nice. And then uh, I think that they have access through us militarily. If they don't, then this basically effectively just cuts them off entirely from this, uh, you know, kind of region over here. So this is going to be really nice for us. Very, very low investment. The AI is very willing to trade these things. It's the art of the deal, baby. You know, it only took three decades, but we're about to get our second boat just as soon as this 961 goes to 1001. So we will be able to actually do something, uh, you know, not in the area. And by that, I mean absolutely nothing. Now, um, the UK, uh, the UK did subjugate Brunei, which we were very sad about. Or they went after Brunei, and I assume they won. Yeah, protectorate. So uh, we do get kind of this eastern portion of Borneo, West Borneo, we do not get. But uh, other than that, it's kind of the Central Asia train that's going to be carrying our expansion we're just going to call this state lm from now on but lm is doing pretty hot we are starting to get our first migrants and these very importantly will not be discriminated against so much in the same way we brought you know kind of transvaal and freestat up earlier we we're starting to bring this one up earlier this is where a lot of our active construction i think we're going to put um because they have this is where we have a lot of peasants we're starting to get some uh uh, you know, people with qualifications, and very importantly, very, 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 very importantly, once these people start rolling in, then actually our naval bases will be able to recruit up, and so this will be quite nice. We do have this on auto expand. We have this on auto expand. Looking to make available jobs. I think that. Oh, do we have a railroad yet? We do have a railroad, and. Oof. It hasn't employed up yet. Once it kind of gets employing up, though, uh, we will be able to turn on some of these uh, labor-saving PMs, um, which, okay, they won't help the bottom line, uh, but they will... Well, actually, maybe we still don't want to turn these on just quite yet. Um, hmm decisions decisions the real problem is the qual in the qualifications is not uh, the labor the amount of laborers we have more than enough laborers the real problem in the qualifications here oop, we're looking in transvaal now the real problem in the qualifications here is of course you know the ownership class Persia accepts a reduction of autonomy without a fight, which leaves us just five years before we can annex, which will be super nice. And of course, we'll be much longer before we can fully incorporate and bring our institutions to bear, you know, on Persia. But we do have, you know, this Kerman, which we're going to be able to make use of. Uh, probably this will be our next place that we kind of target to try and bring up, much in the same way we've been bringing up LM. Um, we have or are building a university here. I'm not sure if it finished. It does have to recruit up. I think we'll add... It's so tempting to add a second level here, but this is really inefficient to do this. But the real, what it does is it'll solve the qualifications for being 100% discriminatory. But I think that, you know, maybe we have a shot at getting human rights into feminism sometime in the nearest future. We also switched to doing quinine first because rubber was not spreading anyways. Um, but uh, I think that, you know, it, 
if we get this in the near future, right, uh, then we won't need to worry about discrimination at all, and being inefficient in this way won't make too big a difference. Um, we're also going to look to, of course, reduce the autonomy of these guys once uh, the truces run out of these four, uh, which will give us a nice little foothold over here, while still being able to maintain the beep boops outside. We're continuing to decay our infamy. We're kind of at the point where maybe, maybe, maybe we do actually want to... Um, uh, make this guy the leader by going parliamentary republic or 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 perhaps what we should do is we should promote this guy to government because we do like this guy anyways and we have the cooldown we grant well, let's grant leadership here and then what we can do is we can be on the lookout for you know someone like this boyo or a loud beep boop outside uh engineer is not terrible i mean it's really not that great i mean political strength of engineers is actually going to be good for the getting the trade unions up beep boop uh but uh when we get this guy this guy who is a radical in who I think I like the idea of five years down the line doing this, um, we can use this guy uh, to help us pass Parliamentary Republic. Um, he's going to start a movement for Presidential Republic, but once we put him in government, he'll support... Well, it looks like we get Parliamentary either way. Hmm, maybe that was a little bit of a mistake of ours. Okay, we'll continue playing on, but... Uh, hmm. The thing is, we like this guy better, but do we like him, like, that that much? And I don't think we like like him. I think we like him, but not like like him. Uh, but th he's gonna be better than this guy, the bigoted opium addict, so that's something. So what we've done is we've moved our, you know, infrastructure edict, which we've had here for some time. Um, we kept it, our one we haven't transvolved, but the other one we moved, and we moved it here. Let's reduce that. Uh, we moved one over here uh, in Lorenko Marx, uh, which is going to help out uh, both the road maintenance and this, because we're building a lot here anyways, and so the 10% construction is going to be pretty valuable. We're also leaning into tooling uh, quite a bit. We have it on auto expand in several places because we know coming on up, we are getting the super OP tool. Uh, you know tech and so we will be doing that but we also put a construction uh, you know uh, edict here on road maintenance and we're gonna look to start uh, the beginning of getting this place up and going um, you know you know this has been a very interesting process kind of going one at a time getting these places up and going leaning heavily into edicts because the customary use for like uh, the the what is it uh, for using all of our authority is generally putting in consumption taxes but because such a large percentage of our economy is again still minting um, these consumption taxes would be relatively less valuable and also we have so much discrimination and these edicts really help for getting kind of these areas on up on top of you know obviously we have turmoil uh, but we end up having you know this minus 25% state construction efficiency 10% of that is offset so it's just minus 15 and this place you know once we are able to compete uh, finish kind of getting up and going we'll probably move like the Transvaal edict uh, or we will take away the edict for construction the road maintenance and instead you know put the one that will help with qualifications over here and so we will be able to get Kerman up and going also I decided I think that we will swing for the second university here that way we can come up and going and we're reducing autonomy on Afghanistan uh, they unfortunately did not say yes to the dress and so we will be uh, you know doing the things and getting the peoples hey hey hey, hey. we got our second boat baby let's go let's go second boat second boat second boat okay well that's it is what it is another thing we've done is uh in Kerman, what we've started to do is I think we're going to be pretty aggressive about expanding the iron mines specifically um, because uh, we do have an iron company, which means we will be getting the construction bonus. And so when we're constructing iron, we're actually really not, we actually have a bonus here for constructing iron. And on top of that, we can add construction sectors here. Uh, that way, you know, we create demand for iron. So this will be very profitable. And so I think this is kind of how we're going to prop up this region to begin with. Another thing we've been doing is we have been improving relationships with Russia this entire time really hoping that at some point Russia invites us to their customs union instead because theirs would be better however with the current state of things um, or actually yeah we would just rather we would rather be in their customs union I think they won't be too keen on inviting us until we're adjacent to them so that's gonna wait until we annex Persia I think um, but also Mexico's managed to fight off the USA this round we're you know just kind of looking around um, and so if we had more diplomatic interest I think we would want to put in on Pacific Coast and Dixie uh, that way we would maybe have a chance of trying to sway to get something like California which you know gold obviously and uh, there's not a lot of well there's now 
now there is a lot of pop there, uh, but it's not too expensive on the Infamy, and they're generally more willing to give it up than they should, but we could also just try and conquer it at some point. I mean, we have two boats now, so the sky's the limit. So we get the very, very OP vulcanization tech. This is, like, just straight up, like, the best PM in the game for the tooling workshops, the machine steel, to steel tools, and it's not even super late into the game. The only competition is maybe condensing it. Engine pump, and we also annex them on here, but we're going to be able to swap on over to the very, very strong tech. Oh, it's so good. Um, if we take a look, we might not even make money because it's going to kick the price of rubber up to, like, infinite, uh, but this PM is just absolutely fantastic, and so we will try and turn it on everywhere. I think even if it causes a rubber shortage, we have places that have rubber potentials that are not fully, uh, you know, kind of employed, and so these places will employ up, and hopefully the, the, the equilibrium can make an adjustment. Actually, let's just swap this back for now. Uh, it'll employ up anyways uh, with just the other one kind of working in, but this PM is just absolutely insane. It is so, 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 so strong, and um, we will be popping off, but we'll save that for next episode. Um, this episode, we have secured a large chunk of Central Asia here, uh, kind of as our means of expansion. We are still decaying some infamy, but just barely, um, but we have a play that we can make. We can reduce autonomies with some people, you know, make some moves, make some money moves. I don't think we can annex these guys yet, but that's that's a decision for next episode. This episode, we had a big come up here. We've kind of uh, unlocked all of our, you know, centrally important tech uh, in that we have gotten, you know, uh, dynamite, uh, we've gotten steam donkey. And so uh, really we are just focused almost entirely on the mines. And so we've kind of have everything for the mines for quite a while. I mean, compression ignition is the next tech, and so um, it, rotary valve engine's gonna be okay, you know, because it will reduce um, uh, the some of the labor in um, in the in the tooling workshop, which is very strong. This is coming on coming on through. This would be okay, I suppose, for getting uh you know the pump jacks uh or sorry getting the the rubber ongoing. That way we can make sure we have the tools. But the combination of just being basically all tools and all mines, and we have basically all the mine tech. Um, we are going to be kind of chilling as it relates to uh, this sort of tech um, now. In fact, let's actually just uh, kind of come on over. I think that we actually want this for the tooling workshop uh, company, and then. After we do that, then we will look to end uh, any sort of discrimination, I think, uh, will be a fairly strong uh, move, or at least uh, research this up uh, to 12.5k. It looks like we actually have quite a bit of straggling left to ring out uh, for our society tech. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. We got some Central Asia. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. It does help out. And other than that, have a good one.